All right, welcome everyone. My name is Paula Phillips, also known as Journal Artista. It is day number 16 of live art over here on the Journal Artista channel. Uh, today I'm gonna, we're actually gonna do some art. Sometimes when I go live during the day, um, we clean, sometimes we, well, we always chat. Sometimes we look at books, sometimes we look at old art journals, who knows? Today, we're gonna use sprays and make more of a mess. Thank you everyone for being here. All right. Do something on my phone. All right. So right now, Simon is putting together a <laughs> the Ikea Rascog cart. Is it called a Rascog? I think so. So <laughs> we'll see how long it takes him. <coughs> Good morning, Laura. Oh, I need some coffee. Good morning, Julie. Hi, Darla. Good to see you. There you go, Julie. So last night, so remember yesterday we worked on this book. I was adding more sprays, whatever. So last night I added it. it <laughs> oh man, I probably worked in this book hours. I, you, you can look at my sludge I made out of my French press again today. Sweet goodness. Uh, which is silly because I keep making it too strong, right? But I'm like, I don't want it weak either. So I keep, I don't know. Let me just get myself situated. He's sitting down today. So I spent a couple hours last night on here, in here, spraying different things, spraying water, spraying whatever. And uh, then, you know, I thought to myself, ah, oh, I had that. If you remember when I was showing yesterday, one of the corners, there was like water damage, right? So I'm like, hmm, I'm going to do that on purpose. Kind of like, uh, Carrie Smith's, uh, ooh, what's that book called? Wreck This Journal. One of the one of the things, and I mean, I've got more than one Wreck This Journal. I never finished it. Never even started. Anyway, we won't go there. Uh, <laughs> amazing book, I suggest if you don't have it. So one of the prompts in, in that, it, in the uh, Carrie Smith's Wreck This Journal, is, uh, I don't know if, it's, if she says, take it into the shower or dip it in water. So I thought to myself, I had all these layers of paint and not paint, excuse me, sprays and marker and whatever. And I thought, no, I'm just gonna fill the sink with water a little bit and dip the entire thing. <laughs> not the entire thing, dip the edges. And yeah, so that's what this big, um, uh, so obviously like this page yesterday where we put gesso on it, you're not gonna see too much of, of it. So, <laughs> so that's why you see I kind of like it. Now we're gonna add more layers and more water. So this these kind of edges will be softer. And some of it's still not quite dry. I left it on the heater. Ooh, my wash. We won't be needing that at the moment. Put this to the side. It's almost dry, I think, in that palette. Okay, I gotta get serious. I got to get serious. I'm hot already with my sweatshirt on. All right, let's see if I miss anybody. Good morning, Jana. Welcome, Mark. <laughs> there's a great video on you. Uh, there's, yeah, lots of videos on YouTube showing wreck this journals. Uh, uh, I mean, that book's been out for a long time. You know, what, 20 years? It's, it's, a, it's a, and now that they have one in color and I mean, so many different ones and awesome inspiration in those ones. So today we need to add, I think, not need to, I want to add some black. I don't know if you can tell on my camera here, I still have all of the sprays and everything I brought out yesterday. Um, 
Simon's laughing at me. He's, he doesn't think I have space in here for that paint cart. And I'm like, I do. I have all these bags with all this paint that need to go on the cart. It will free up floor space if I can get this stuff off the floor. All right. What I do need to find are my distress ink pads when I add a few more layers. Oh, I'm hot. Good morning, Lori. Whoops. Hopefully everybody's having a wonderful Tuesday so far. Um, yeah, so I'll just quickly flip. So I, I left it on the heater in the bathroom overnight. <laughs> My book like this, stand up. Uh, so it might be still a little damp, but I did yesterday. Uh, after I got off, I found my hair dryer for so my jelly so I can do my jelly printing. I found my hair dryer. I found my Fran the Frenzy Stamper, my my old school heat gun, um, backup heat gun, the one that looks like a little mini hair dryer. Found my backup heat gun. I found this roll of tracing paper. I don't know what brand it was. Somebody told me to buy this, probably Kathy B. Somebody told me to buy this at the same time when when you guys were telling me, Patty and everybody was telling me about the masking paper. I think Kathy B told me to buy this tracing paper, I think. But I can't remember what brand it is. So I found that. <laughs> and I found a whole thing of sponsors. Brand new. Real sponsors, too. Like actual ones. So that was exciting. I don't even remember where I bought that. Uh, so I call that a productive day. So then I worked on this. You see, I... Oh, so some of it might still be stuck together. So we will go page by page. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So, so I sprayed last night when I came in here. That's bad news. Okay, so that page is going to stay stuck. Let's get out a glue. Hmm, I don't have a glue stick. Oh, well, we're just going to leave it like that. Remember these sprays I was showing yesterday? I think they're made by Plaid. I sprayed some of this, and I think it's more acrylic. Like, it's sticky sticky business, my friend. So I think that's what that page stuck together. But like I said, this journal, this is just plain. This is just, uh, yeah, exactly, Cheryl. Hi, Cheryl, by the way. Good morning. Good morning, Jane. Um, this is just a regular composition book. A cheap paper, excuse me. Most pages are not, some at the front, some at the back are glued together. Excuse me again. But mostly these are just single. The pages are not glued together. <laughs> well, they are glued together now. How not to do this? All right. So as you can see, so when we did, uh, when I scribbled all of that, do you remember the other day I was trying to use up this Marvy metallic pigment ink marker that's super old? It resists. I mean, look at how that resisted all the inks. So cool. Go, I see here. Fishy, fishy, fishy. I can see some fish in there. Good morning, Malia. Good morning, Tori. Good afternoon to you. Good morning, Michelle. It's kind of like that. that. I mean, that's what made me think about wreck this journal. Carrie Smith's wreck this journal is what made me think about dipping the entire thing into the sink. <laughs> I mean, I love the watercolor look. Don't get me wrong. And we're going to add more. Like I said, it's not going to be so harsh when I start adding more layers. But none of this is that I put. I didn't put any thought into any of this. It's just about using stuff, using old stuff and seeing what happens. I'm just going to flip through, make sure. So definitely it's time to add some black. And then... Uh, ew. Then I'll add more layers of sprays. and Oh boy, that's bad news. Okay. Yeah, see, that was all the acrylic. Look at that. Well... I did that on purpose. I made a little half sheet, you know, on purpose. <laughs> Take this, off. this is still not dry. Maybe that's the problem. I need to uh, 
So, you, you know, to do something like this, you, you definitely have to like the grungy look. Heat gun. Oh, yeah, it's just, it's just nothing. Sprayed ink, sprayed water, crinkled pages, rub. Man, oh, man. That's, this is the risk. This is the risk when you're working on multiple pages at once, or obviously when I dip my book in it. Uh... <laughs> oh, well, extra texture. <laughs> yeah, this is still wet. It was on the heater all night, but which is probably not the safest thing either. So, you know, do as I say, not as I do. what we worked on yesterday you can see where i added the gesso no there is no gesso good morning linda <laughs> you never know who's watching so if you look here do you see this my friends so as I was like dipping my book and adding more layers of water and sprays and moving everything around, the first layer, when I started this book, oh gosh, you know, a year and a half ago or whatever I was doing that art on the couch, the first layer, you see the, the this purple were distress oxide uh, pads. So this, the water, all the resist of the ink, the water, whatever, that is still the distressed oxide pad, the direct to paper. It's like, I'm not, I wouldn't call it ghosting. That's not the term that necessarily I would use, but it's resisting, I guess. Well, anyway, you can really see. Got some interesting stuff going on here. But it needs black. It needs black. I'm going to get out my Sumi ink and probably get everybody worked up. because it's. So I've had this Sumi ink for... A long time since I started archery, like 10 years for sure. It seems a little thick, so I'm just gonna add water to it. I don't know if you're supposed to or not. I'm gonna add a little water to it, shake it up, and we're just gonna pour it in here. So you can really see I've got uh... <laughs> after all the sprays that I did on the edges of everything and then dipping it in. Uh oh, here we go again. Ew, that's bad news. Look okay. <laughs> at Hold the fort. So this book obviously is not precious, right? This is not, uh, ooh, I was, man, I was putting this through the ringer last night. This is the first comp book that has ever started. I don't know if you can see the, the thread there. This is the first, and I've worked in a lot of comp books, my friends. This is the first time the binding is starting to come off. So I put a, some plastic, uh, plastic some uh, packing tape down the middle, but it's already, I'm like, it was starting to rip down here. I'm like, what's going on? And then I realized that the binding is actually becoming unsewn. Unsewn, is that a word? <laughs> ah, anyways, so I, I'm gonna probably, I'm gonna have to do some surgery on this in the future. Good morning, Lene. It's fun, but I love how the, you know, so when you have acrylic on here, this is old, like, you know, this is acrylic paint off of a, a stencil used on a jelly plate. So I love how it, um, all the inks and everything I sprayed and then adding the water, how you can still see the acrylic. So some things are completely covered up. We've got gold spray. Because the gold sprays I have are pigment. So they're permanent. They don't move, right? You can see Julie Faye Van Balzer's uh, one of her chevron stencils. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe if I stopped moving it. Well, you can see it over here. Kind of. Thanks, Jonna. Thanks, Michelle. Still wet. 
a lot of it. I thought it was dried, but now it's still damp overnight. So some of the marker work I did using up some of my old, uh, well, they're not Crayola Super Tips. The ones I'm using up right now are uh, Sargent Art brand of Super Tips. Cheap. Don't buy them. I'm using them up. But you can see how all the ink is blended through there. So Sumi ink, I'm going to, I'm going to, um, add water to it and we're just going to do some splots my friends we just randomly have brush marks and add more water hopefully the black will start separating and sinking in love it look at the like rainbow type thing going on here so random as you can see i dripped uh ink on the top of the book and then added water so that it would spread out like i did i put this yesterday I put so much water in this book, more than once, like dried the paper. I'm really giving the paper fibers a beating. There's only, you know, paper fiber. <clears throat> I'm trying not to think about, talk about boxes too much, but in the paper fiber world, right? A great recycling fiber. So for example, in China, they don't have a lot of natural re paper resources. So all the boxes that come out of China are, their paper fibers have been recycled so many times that it because the paper or the boxes become weak, right? You need to have so much, act, you know, to make a, a corrugated container, you have to have, your, some of the paper has to be a certain, you know, you can only have so, so much recycled paper fiber content, right? Or else the paper fibers are weak and then your box won't be able to stand up to, uh, that's why, you know, the company that I worked for, when I, when I visited the paper mill in uh, Fernadina, Fernadina or... Fernandina Beach. Well, I, I was that uh, one. I went. I went to two paper mills, but I was amazed to, to know that the paper that that they produced or we produced. Well, I shouldn't say we. I don't work for the company anymore. Eighty-five percent of it went to China. Uh, so, anyways, same same theory in here though. The more I break down the paper fibers of this book, the more water I add, dry it, wa add more water, dry it. I'm breaking down the fibers of the paper, so it's going to become more and more fragile as it goes. I hope that makes sense. Some of these markers, so they, this must have been, uh, not must have, it has to have been Adirondack markers. So no amounts of water or alcohol spray, whatever I'm spraying on here, there it's not moving. So that has to be some type of permanent, not even permanent, like Adirondacks. It's weird. They didn't move at all, no matter what I sprayed on it. Ooh, my apologies again about the autofocus, my friends. My new laptop has not shipped yet, but hopefully this week or next week, and then we will. So, uh, you know, you can't worry about wrecking something that you've prior you previously done. So I actually really did like this little face I had drawn uh, that I just kind of saw in the Distress Oxide directed paper I did there. But, you know... I don't worry about covering things up, so I just drip more stuff on it. Now all you can see is her lips. <laughs> some more of the marker work. So we're going to add some black. Then we're going to add more sprays, maybe. This is the one that looked like the zebra print yesterday. I'll show you. Good morning, Joyce Age. I sent you a DM on Twitter, my friend. I was asking you if you had, um, I don't know if you saw it, if you have this, the book by Julie Fay Fan Balzer, Carve Stamp Play. And then these pages in the back, like I said, because I was working on this book years ago, These I have a couple pages in the front and a couple pages in the back that are glued together. So a lot more sturdy, these ones in the, in the back or the front. So that's what we got going on right now. Man, this is still damp. He got. So, I don't know. Probably, probably hiccups. Thanks, Joyce. I shall add it. I'm working on your package because I've got to go. Oh, what day of the week is it today? Tuesday. Thursday. Thursday is the goal to go to the Shoppers Drug Mart. And a post office. All right. 
So like I said, Sumi Ink, excuse me while I stand up. I've had this bottle for a very long time, since I started art journaling. So 10 years, you know, a long time. And uh, now I've got water here. Drink some coffee. Mm. Lene, no, that's why I love it. Like the feel and the sound, the texture. I'm a very, like, I love this stuff, my friend. Like the crinkly, and it would be even more crinkly if it was actually dry, but it's not dry. All right. So probably taking a risk. None of this is dry, so I'm adding more to it and whatever. This is, just, this is a, you know, about process, not product. It's not even about process. To be honest, this is just about using stuff, getting used to just enjoying the process of using stuff, of, of getting my hands dirty. And I like I took my bath today, but I didn't wash my hair. So <laughs> my hands are so stained from all the inks last night. The best way I don't I've never uh, unfortunately I didn't get a craft scrubby or is that what they're called? The Ranger craft scrubbies. But washing your hair, my friends, <laughs> is the best way to clean ink off your hands. So anyways, we have some Sumi ink. I'm going to add some water to it because I think it's a little, uh, and again, I'm no expert. <clears throat> I'm a self-taught artist. So if I do something that looks like, if you're, you know, not a real artist, let me take that, those words back. If you are, you know, if you think I'm doing something wrong, well, my apologies. We're just doing, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. So I added water to this. I don't know if you're supposed to, if it's going to affect it, if it's not, but that's what we're doing. I'm just going to use it up. So I want some black in this. This will move around. So let's see. I'll get out my skewer. Let's see what else I got in here I can use. Well, I'm gonna, I've got my dropper, so I'm going to use. Whoop. I'm making a mess. I've got my little dropper. Good morning, Linda. Welcome, my friend. So wonderful to see you. So I've got water and a dropper. Right, I've got this. So let's see. And again, I am not. I think I'll start by just dripping it. We are going to make a mess with the black. But to me, it's just about using stuff again. I don't know. It's hard to explain what, what goes on in my brain or why my brain is doing these things. But it's, it's not even about the results. I just want to move paint and ink around again. Just enjoy the simple. How is the weather on the East Coast? Today's a beautiful day in Ontario. All right, so we put a little ink in there. Oh, man, I'm really going to have to wash that in the sink. Oh, boy, okay, we're going to be making a mess. I've got ink there. So I dripped a little ink. Let's see, now I'm going to just spray directly down... And you wonder why my spine is breaking. <laughs> Sunny and warm in Nova Scotia. This is exactly why my spine is breaking. All right. So we're going to have some ink there. I just smush it a little bit, move it around. That didn't go too far, too far down into the... Well, some of it did. That's well, some of it did. That's just water I'm spraying. So I'm just going to take, uh, I don't know, I'll take the skewer. I'm just do using what I have, what's around. Maybe I'll get out a good brush. Where's my, uh, not a, maybe not a good brush, but... Yeah, see, the ink is still pretty thick, in my opinion. But maybe it was thick to begin with. I don't know. I think that it's not supposed to be so thick. So I'm really going to be beating up my book. All right. Let's see. Find one of those... Uh, 
Let's see. This one. Oh, that's bad news. How not to store your brushes? This one is a... Oh, it's got that end too. I don't know. Maybe it's... Talking about seal. Welcome. Dawn is gorgeous in Ottawa. Oh, this just came off. Hmm. It was... Hmm. Yeah, that's bad news. So, uh, what, did I use this with acrylic? That would not make any sense. Oh, well. <laughs> we'll get some unintentional marks. Whoa, okay, yeah. Oh, make it a mess. Oh, boy. So all I've been doing is spraying whatever, turning the page, letting it soak into multiple layers. How not to use Sumi ink? Maybe a little. No, it needs more water, I think. Obviously, I need to buy me a new bottle of uh, Sumi ink. Well, Linda Berry told me I needed uh, an ink stone. So I have one of those coming today, actually. Oh, I'm so excited. I don't know if Amazon will show up while we're live over here or not. But uh, let's just drip it like this. Good morning, Carol. Good morning, Tess. Good to see everybody this morning. Oh yeah, that page. The poor page. We gotta glue that bad boy. Ooh, that was a lot of black. I don't know how. All right. I'm just not even thinking. I'm just doing, my friends. Da, da, da. <laughs> I'm making a mess. Okay. That's a lot. That's like this. And when I... Oh, okay. <laughs> This one has, uh, and that's probably why that side's messed up because this particular brush has a, that type of thing, a pen nib. So we'll use that, make some marks. That's pretty cool, actually, this thing. Oh, so I got my Canon Click yesterday, but the problem is they gave me, I ordered and paid for a Click Plus, which is uh, the printer, a camera and a printer. But they sent me just the Click, which is a camera, but it won't print. It only prints the pictures that are taken by that camera, by the, by the actual thing where the click plus will take micro SD cards and print anything that's on the SD card or on any, you know, Instagram or any website. So, I mean, that's the whole point I bought it to, <laughs> to, you know, print out my animal crossing screenshots. Well, and my wonderful membership uh, project I've got going on, but anyway, <clears throat> so that was a bummer. So I had to call that. Now they have to reship it. So it's probably another couple of weeks. All right, so we've got uh, Sumi ink uh, absolutely everywhere now. <laughs> I think we've had we've added enough uh, pop black, as Patty would say. Let me 
making a mess. All right. We are just using what we have. They try to see, they're trying to fussy cut. <laughs> fussy cut, everybody. All right, so we've got our black in there. So I'm going to add, well, maybe instead of water, we should add a spray, maybe. No, I think I'm just going to add, no, yeah, we're just going to add water, a little water on different pages, or a lot of water, I should say. Like I said, this is exactly why my binding ha is having issues. This is this is just cheap old uh Composition book paper. Like I really putting this in a putting this through the ringer. Now Sumi Ink. Oh, I might be. Ooh, I never thought of this. I might be causing myself some grief over here. Let's hope that this Sumi Ink's not going to make my pages stick. It just might. I never thought of that. Hmm. Well, if it doesn't, if it sticks, then uh, <laughs> then I then you learn something from what not to do from me today. No, I didn't in this one, Carol, at all. There's some pages in the front, about three pages in the front and three or four pages in the back that are that I glued together. But no, this one, when I started it on the art, you know, when I was doing art on the couch there a year and a half or a couple years ago or whenever, I, uh, I didn't glue any pages. Sometimes I'll take a whole composition book and pre-glue all the pages together with... Get out my, uh, get out my, I get out my glue sticks, sit on the couch and go to town and just glue a whole bunch of uh, things together. Then I put it under heavy books overnight or a couple days and the pages uh, come out relatively flat. Let's see, we need some need some black on this page. As I just stab it. Oh, that's bad news. Oh, I hear Simon make a noise. I wonder if he's got it done. You know, I've always been a big, uh, especially because I've said it all the time, right? Like when I start art journaling, I glue pages together and then I gesso, right? I am a gesso typo person. And I'll be adding layers of gesso in here. That's soon enough. Probably the next one, I'll, I'll scrape gesso on uh, each pages. And some of these fun sprays will come up through the gesso. So, yeah, the, I definitely... Uh, I, I definitely am a believer in the gluing of pages and gessoing. All right. Depends what look you're going for, right? So, I, I mean, some people will get right upset that these pages stuck together or whatnot. So if you don't want pages uh, <clears throat> and they, they stuck together and they're so fragile because they're not glued together. But, ooh, look how fun that is. Some of that acrylic paint is resisting that ink. You can definitely tell I've sprayed so much. Like in the it middle of my book here, there doesn't seem to be a lot going on. I'm going to have to remedy that. Ooh, that's a hot mess. That's a hot mess.
Yeah, glue books, exactly. It's a uh, you want to see some glue books? Our friend Julian here had in our chat here has done, I don't know, three years of daily art, something crazy in comp books. And this black, you know, of the Sumink, when I add more sprays and more all that type of stuff, it will react with those things and spread out differently. I'm going to be putting more Distress Oxide pads down. That page needs some gesso badly. I used, um, on this, I used this old eggplant Adirondack color wash. And, uh, you know, color wash is super vibrant. All right, so we've got some hot, hot messes, some of this. Oh, look, now I put, oh, she's got some. That girl's face is almost completely gone. Let's see, let me find my yellow. This is vanilla custard, it's not yellow, vanilla custard dilutions. And some here and there. Oh yeah, this book is super wet. Now I'm gonna have to go put it on the uh, thing again, on the heater. super wet. What I was doing last night, good morning, Glenda, when I was on the couch, heat gun, I was heating the pages like this, and there was like steam coming off of it. Thank you, everybody, for being here and hitting the thumbs up button. I appreciate it. Don't forget, don't forget to hit the bell uh, button beside the subscribe button so you know when I go live every day. During the day when I go live, today's day number 16 in a row. I'm pretty proud about that. Um, I don't know what time of day that sometimes I, like yesterday, went live at like 6.30 Eastern in the morning. And sometimes, you know, 10 o'clock, who knows. But, uh. So make sure the bell, click the bell so you know when I go live. But I try not, I mean, my pages are super wet right now. So last night, I probably almost completely wet the book like this and dried it three times. And then my last, my last, when I dipped it into the, in the sink, that was the last time. <laughs> and then I just left it on the heater overnight. This is super wet. This poor paper. I guess I'm I'm uh, researching how. <laughs> And I don't, I guess it all, de not, not guess. It, it all depends on your comp book too. I mean, not all comp books are made equal. I've got some ink on there. Oh my, I'm making a mess. I need a baby wipe. Patty gave me this one. It's from Staples. It's a Staples brand. The covers are not so sturdy. I will have to recover it later. I'll probably have to put like chipboard and everything to make it more sturdy. But um, the paper's half decent. That's ripped out, not because of what I'm doing in the book, but because I ripped out a page in the back. Now this is going to take a long time to dry. But my next thing, I want to add gesso. I want to scrape gesso in random places. Keep going.
I don't know. I don't wear reading glasses, Carol, so I don't even have that excuse with typos and autocorrect. Oh, my sweet loving goodness. There's like... But it's okay. We all read typos and typonese. <laughs> oh, man, that's money. Muddy, muddy, muddy. I don't know. Should I let this completely dry before I add some gesso layers? There's some steam coming off of this, my friends. Hmm. I didn't spend an hour like I did last night drying this. stuff is happening though because a lot of these sprays i was using whether it was the distressed sprays the dilution some of this old stuff out of rondock random other old sprays i got going on every time i re-wet every time you re-wet them they will uh move again boy oh boy My foot. <laughs> so. <laughs> Linda, if you don't look at the keys, I type like this. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, it's this this all. This is going to take a while to dry. But if I add layers right now of um, other layers of gesso and stuff, I, I really risk damaging the paper. I guess I could dry. Because ain't nobody want to listen to the... Nobody wants to listen to the heat gun for an hour. Oh, I'm not looking up. Uh, oh, I didn't look at the chat. And I, thanks, Jane. I don't know what they were saying. Dang it. I missed a troll. I like what's happening here. It's going to be fun because once I start adding some uh, gesso, right, all these inks, these non-permanent inks are going to come up through the gesso. So we'll be adding even more different textures and fun stuff. There's colored pencil on there. That's why this green, that's what's resisting on that. this is good to have more than one book on the go work on another one while this one is drying but i was having so much fun last night just spraying and not thinking just adding layers seeing how things moved around but i wanted to continue just on this one book how not to dry pages Linda. Oh, aliens. Oh, that's always fun. When you get those flat earthers. So I guess I can add layers of gesso. I would just, well, obviously wouldn't be able to close the book, or I would I'd have to put uh, saran wrap or wax paper. Oh, where's my roll of black? so that the pages wouldn't stick what are they barking at does that mean my amazon order is out there nope 
Nope. Yeah, so if I started putting gesso on there, I'd have to make, like, this page is still wet. And I wouldn't be able to put gesso on one side and the other side with damp paper in between. Or I shouldn't. Yeah, I'd just get nothing but bubbles. But let's, you know, find a page. We'll just experiment. We'll see. I'm just going to put gesso on that one page with all that spray. I'll try to dry that one particular page. This is all damp. Yeah. So I'm taking a risk by scraping gesso on it, but we're going to do it anyways. Heat gun. So I'll try to dry these paper. The whole book is damp. And I definitely want to scrape some gesso on here. And I'm too impatient. Too impatient to let it completely dry. It's going to take hours. All right. Just so. I'm just going to use my good old Gala Rowney I got going on here. I'm going to get out a gift card. Move my all the junk I got going on. Have a wonderful day yourself, Tori. Thank you for coming. Wonderful to see you. All right, let's put a little gesso over here. Oh, Simon's choking, dog's barking. What the devil's going on out there? So I'm just gonna scrape. So again, this is that, um, you know, and I gotta be careful, these pages are too damp. Ew. Um, that Adirondack. I want to say great, but it's not. Uh, eggplant. Super concentrated, my friends. Super concentrated. So let's scrape some paint. Get uh, some den dendritic texture. Hi, Julie. Good morning, my friend. You've got Joyce it's all happy. All right. I gotta be careful, especially with that texture. I'm oh look, I'm already ripping paper. All right, let's heat that bad boy. Dang it, I should stop being so stubborn and just get out another book because uh, heat gun. <laughs> I just gotta be mindful that I'm not putting gesso on. If I'm putting gesso on one side of the page, I'm not putting it on the other side when the pages are damp. I gotta make sure, see this is not very smart because I gotta make sure this is dry or put a piece of, I guess I could put a piece of uh, saran wrap or plastic wrap. Making money mess over here. Now I'm gonna put a piece of plastic wrap in there so that it I need to buy me some wax paper. I don't know where that would have went. Make sure it doesn't stick together. Key gun. 
I think this page needs some blue. Dun, dun, dun. Too much purplish. We'll get a light. Let's see. What do we got? I'll just use the salty ocean distress stay distress stain. Ooh. I am putting this through. Giving this. Spray it a little bit. I love that it goes through multiple pages. That might bother some. So be forewarned. If you're, when you're doing this, this type of stuff, you're definitely going to ruin whatever's <laughs> underneath the other. So just uh, keep it in the back of your mind. Making a mess. Oh, yeah, my handy wax. Blue in the garbage. Depressing. But my own fault. Oh, my vlog. I don't know if that's my own fault. I had no idea. Like, that was stored on a shelf. It wasn't on the ground, right? I didn't have no idea that I had to keep stuff six inches away from a wall so that the moisture doesn't get at it. But the next step for me in this process is scraping on gesso randomly in a bunch of different pages when it's dry. That's the problem. And then I'll add more layers, more stamping. I don't know if I added too much of that sumi ink on some of these pages, but... Like I said, as I add more layers of spray and water, the black from that sumi ink will change. Thanks, Linda. Good morning, Ali. Good morning, Anita. Oh boy! It's 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 a uh, it's hard for me because I can I want to add more layers, but I know you guys don't want to listen to a heat gun for hours, so it's a. Uh, I don't know. I guess I should, maybe I should go put this on the heater for a bit. I'm liking it. I've got to work like. Every page, I guess just the way I've sprayed so much water, this little <laughs> in the middle here, you can still see the lines from the notebook. Seems like this middle part of my journal is the only part that I didn't haven't sprayed a lot of water on or something. But we definitely need some gesso. We need some stampage going. I'm loving it. I want more layers. I'm going to add more layers of Distress uh, Oxide pads, which I need to find. Maybe while I'm doing that, let's find some Distress Oxide pads. I think. Nope, not in that bag. It's going to get loud. I'm going to shuffle my stuff around. You know me, I'm a shuffler. Every day I shuffle a little bit. 
Ooh, excuse me while I run. Uh oh. Not looking at the chat for a moment. Illusion sprays. Oh, I found this pen. I bought a whole that marker a whole long time ago. All right, so more dilution sprays. But what we are looking for are they're not sprays. Did I put it under the desk? That is a possibility. Hold the fort going under the desk after I have some coffee. Let me look at the chat. Let's make sure. Dee, 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 dee. Good morning, Claire. Or good afternoon. Yeah, this is Sumi Ink and Sprays. All right. Put this underneath the desk. This is the bag I'm looking for. No, of course not. Of course not. I actually want to add some uh, alcohol markers to this, too. Under the desk. Uh-oh. All right. That is UT. Don't need that right now. What is this? A lost Versa Versa color ink pad? <laughs> All right. No. What I'm looking for is not under the desk. I am going to. I have had way too much coffee today. I'm moving around. I need a nature break. <laughs> Already. <laughs> moving around it's like i don't know my friends once i turn 40 it's like i have i need to do some kindle exercises how about that for tmi it's like when i got to go i got to go god this 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 marker is super old like over 10 want to use it up. I don't think it's a paint marker. It's fabric. Those big tulip, big fat markers. Fabric. More than 10 years old. And yeah, this doesn't go with those colors. Don't care. Just using stuff up. Just using stuff makes me feel good, my friend. So that's what I'm trying to do. Oh boy, this marker is smelly in not a good way. Yeah. All right. That's garbage. I was putting a lot of pressure to try to get any type of ink out of that. All right. I just found, oh my, smells, where's Linda? Smells fishy. It smells like that, um, <laughs> you know, everybody's favorite acrylic paint from Dollarama. It smells like uh, the, the craft paint from Dollarama that smells like fish. <laughs> this is uh, Dilution's uh, Bubblegum Pink. Add some water, bust out whatever stencil I got going on. Paula enabled me to buy the Arteza Grout. <laughs> it's okay to call you out, Claire. <laughs> like how I, I didn't call you out about the switch though. <laughs> no, so last night, guys, I don't know if you saw on Facebook, I had Ange and uh, Jane were both on my island last night. So that was fun. You can have up to eight people on your island at once. So I took a picture there. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to let that do its thing for a bit. All 
Okay, I need a nature break. I'm going to mute so you don't hear a whole bunch of noise. I'll be back in. Oh, that's what we should do. We should let this dry, and I should make a sign or something. Might be back in five minutes, signers. I need me one of those this week. So I'm at to-do list, and I, I don't know. Like, as I try to get back into art, I'm just following whatever, and that's why I'm all over the place, right? I'm a little bit here, a little bit there, but I'm just trying to follow what uh, what is exciting me. Right. So last night I'm like doing sprays and this and wetting it and drying it. And like this is exciting. So I'm just doing that. I'll be back in five. Leave that open. You can look at that. Hopefully it won't autofocus for the next five minutes or less. Be right back, my friends.
All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Had a little nature break. So Simon's got that cart put together. Do I, I don't know if you guys want to hear me moving crap though, that's the thing. So I have to, have to move a couple things out before I can move it in. Does that make sense? <laughs> I think I'll do that off camera a little bit more after after we work on this a little bit. All right, just moving some stuff so I can get my chair back here. But so I have a I have a bag that has my uh, distress oxide pads in it. So I guess since I've been gone, I don't guess I know. Since I haven't uh, done any art in a couple of years, Tim Holtz came out with Distress Oxide. Uh oh, crap! Just like dis Distress Oxide sprays. They, I do not have. That is one thing I do not have any Distress Oxide sprays. So I've got to rectify that situation soon. <laughs> All right, there's that. Those are acrylic paints. I'm not looking at the chat for a moment, my friends. Well, I'm just to get something over here. Gosh. All right. You received your order of masks yesterday. Very well made. From from who, Jana? Mm -mm -mm. Am I reading that wrong? All right. That's still not the where where would I have put this is very bad news, my friends. All right, let me think. I have that bag. Oh man, it's soon I'm gonna have to bust out the fan in here. It's hot. Oh, I'm sweating up a storm. Where were those ink pads? That bag that I had, the, the oh, I've got a, one moment, getting dizzy over here. Um, those are pens. So that whole bag is pens. That is not my phone. All right, let me think. This is bad news. Hmm. Oh, sweet love and goodness. It's right in front of me. Of course it's right in front of my face. Where else would it be other than right in front of my face? Oh, this is what I was looking for. <laughs> All right. Sweet loving goodness. Hopefully in the next couple weeks, they won't, I'll have my cards in here and everything will be off. I won't have all these razor frozen bags all over the floor. <laughs> all right. <laughs> just, uh, some of these, the wonderful Zandra sent me. Um, and the re-inkers. And she sent me some of the, the Bria uh, Reese glitter ink from the Great Hobby Lobby clearance of 2017. There's some distress oxide re-inkers in here. All right. 
So let's get some Distress Oxides in bright colors. Again, I need a good way to store all my... This, ah, dang it. I want to think about it right now. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, no, face masks, not like, stent, like, like uh, stencil masks. I bet you John is, John is a sewer. I bet you she's making some amazing masks. I'm trying to read. All right. So I probably should wait till these pages are dry before I start doing direct to paper with ink. But you know, I don't play by the rules. And just direct to paper in random places. Maybe not that page, probably wasn't a good one with acrylic on it. This is all I did. Well, I, last night I didn't use ink pads, but. See something like this. This is faded jeans. Let that move a little bit. This page has no this page has nothing on it. That's blue. Let us see. I'll go add some lemon zest. Let's see. I've got some other distress oxides here. Picked raspberry. I bought Z gifted me some of these, and I bought some of these from Simon Says Stamp. Again, a couple years ago when they when they first came out, two thousand saying two thousand and seventeen. So I don't have very many colors, but I love them. Thank you, Z. If you're out there in Z lurk lurking, I, I, Z was doing a Zandra who was uh, scraps to beauty by Zandra over here on Z YouTube. The other day she was playing with her Timmy stuff, and it just I just. Oh, it was so inspiring. I love it. So it made me want to get out my distress stuff and sprays and make a mess. This page needs some gesso. Let's see. Maybe I'll add... And some of these pages are wet, my friends. So, pro again, not are damp anyways. So uh, I don't know what's going to happen or, or how it's going to turn out. I'm just having fun using my stuff. Let me add some pink on here. Like I said, I'm putting this book through a beating, my friends, a beating. Over here, still pretty wet. Ooh, some pink on this page. Make some squares. Oh, I love what's happening here, how that kind of spread out. blue over here or not blue this is yeah blueprint sketch so you see some sometimes I put the direct uh, 
I put the distress oxide down and then I spray it. Other times I just put it down and then turn the page. Right I like that. Make it look like water or something. Let's see, maybe we need some. So what the, like, you know, for example, I, sh I showed this earlier, right? The distress oxide, see this? That was, because the first thing I did in this book a year and a half ago was direct a paper with distress oxide. And it doesn't, I don't know if I want to call that a resist or, I don't know, but it does funny things. In oh, not funny, interesting things. Not funny, haha, -ha, funny, strange. <laughs> because oxides are different than uh, the regular distress pads. Let's see, add a little bit of maybe over here. Maybe some on this page. Oh, we need some pink on this bad boy, I think. Now, you got to be careful, right? If I'm I'm going direct to paper, I, I have a picked raspberry distress oxide pad. I'm going direct to paper. Look, I've already stained it. So over here, I have that uh, eggplant Adirondack. So if I'm going direct to paper, I better, you know, be cognizant of the fact that I could be transferring some of that onto my pad. So just be aware if you don't want to contaminate your ink pads. It could happen if you're doing this type of thing. But if it gets a little contaminated, you can always go to a, a blank page and it'll take it off. Is my, am I buffing? Hi, Ali. Good morning or good afternoon. What did you find, Joyce? What were you looking for? Uh oh. You found your Univol Vision. Elite pen or exact micro? Let's see. So uh, in the uh, spirit of using what I have and what's around me, we'll try this Bria Reese glitter ink. I've been treasuring it. No, I think I, I, I did use it once or twice. Let's just put it on here, see what happens. Ooh, yummo! Ooh, pretty. I'm going to spray that with water. Thanks, guys. No <laughs> Yeah, Joyce, did you see the refills I got? So if you find the pen, the uh, Uniball Vision Elite pens, and those are the pens that... Um, Linda Berry suggests in her class why I use them is because Linda Berry, I, I, in syllabus, which is behind me, should be, maybe not. Did I have it on? Maybe I brought it back out to the living room. Anyways, in her, oh no, here it is. Ugh. Yeah, in this book, um, they, uh, she goes into detail about her class that she, one of her classes that she teaches or she has taught at the University of Wisconsin. And so when she shows like her weekly handouts that she gave her students. So in, in one of the weekly handouts in here, I don't know if I'll be able to find it, but she talks about the supplies that she recommend, recommends for her class. Um, and Uniball Vision Elites are the pens that she recommends the most. Dang it. Anyways, that's that's what I like me. Oh, I put my book, I put it right in that sweet. Oh, no. So I did buy some Uniball Vision Elite refills. This These happened to me. And when I bought them, I didn't realize that they were bold. Bold tip, which is 
no big deal. All right, let me see. I'll spray some water on here. Move some of that Brio Reese stuff around after I stuck that book right in it. Ooh. All right, we need us some uh, plastic wrap on here. Give us some good texture when it dries. I think I'll spray some. This is Rose Quartz Dilutions. Linda Berry, one of the characters in Anna Green Gables. Linda Berry? I don't know. My word, my friend. I haven't read Anna Green Gables since I was 10 or 11. I read that series a long time ago. Long, long, long time ago. Can't remember. If she had a friend. Lucy Maud Montgomery. I'll have to uh, look that up. All right, I'll try to let that dry like that. This book is super wet. Heat gun. Hey, Gail, good morning. Yeah, if it's almost empty, Joyce, that's that's what I'm saying. So this, they, these refills, now where's the pen? As long as you have the, uh, I have more than one, dang it. But anyways, in Canada, these refills were, cheap four bucks four bucks canadian oh yeah so if you have division elite as long as they the, the refills so much cheaper than the pen so if you have the pen you can just buy the refills for again it was like on amazon four dollars canadian for two which is pretty cheap for those uh pens heat gun really I think um, Linda Berry is super inspiring me right now. I'm uh, reading articles, watching videos. I'm studying her in the background. I really, uh, really inspiring to me. At this, at this point of what I like. All right, this, this. Now, where's that page with gesso? Did I completely, oh no, it's under here. I forgot, I did put, I did put some saran wrap so hopefully it won't stick. Oh, this poor book. It needs to sit on the heater for a couple of hours. A lot of hours before I add more gesso and stuff to it, I think. Yeah, this, this heat gun's not going to help. <laughs> Every page is damp. Right to the spine. Right to the spine. And, you know, the more I turn pages, i got to be careful. It, it will. Mm -hmm. Diana Berry. Susan C. says, welcome, Susan. Diana Berry was Anne's best friend. Gosh, I haven't thought. Yeah. You should read it. Anna Green Gables again. Canadian classic. You know, like Atwood. Margaret Atwood, that is. Maybe I can at least try the page that has the gesso on it. Oh, I'm going to keep that one closed. What am I doing? Yep, 
Ooh, bad news. It's even sticking to the plastic wrap. Yeah. I'm really going to have to try this page. Heat gun. I'm glad you're here, Susan. I appreciate that. Have a good day, Claire. Take care of yourself, my girl. You want a line? Good for you, Linda. I need to eat something. That's why I'm getting uh, dizzy. Man, oh man. Hot mess here. Mud. Make a mud. So what I was doing last night, I, I come in here, I do a whole bunch of sprays, I go back on the couch, <laughs> I sit on the couch and dry it for like half an hour. Come back in. <laughs> Probably ingested a few fumes last night. Honestly, I have no idea what I'm going to do with this book. Maybe nothing. But it's sure fun working in it. I love that blue that from that distress stain. What color was that? Salty ocean. I love that color of blue. So you see a lot of that purple, that eggplant out around that color wash has come up through the gesso. Oh, Ali, thank you for asking my new chair. Let me tell you, I can't sit in that bad boy for ten, more than 10 minutes without falling asleep. <laughs> but I got to thank you to my wonderful stepfather. Got me a um, zero gravity chair. And it's actually a lawn chair. Um, or what I would call a lawn chair. But for me, anyways, it's in the living room. <laughs> so it's actually super comfortable. It's, a X, it's an XL one, which I didn't realize when I told him that's the one I wanted. So I have to like have blankets. So if I'm playing my switch or reading a book or, or a tablet or whatever I'm doing, like my my elbows, because it's an extra wide, extra large or extra wide chair, my elbows don't touch the armrest. So I have to like put blankets and I've got uh, extra pillows and stuff so that it builds it up so I can sit in it comfortably, comfortably. but it's absolutely awesome. Um, it's hard to get in and out of though, my friends. Once I'm in it, once I'm in it and reclined with all the pillows and the blankets and everything, I'm I'm like, <laughs> I'm like a baby. I'm like, Simon, can you get me a <laughs> can you pass me a drink? Can you pass me this? Can you pass me the plug? Because once you get in there, like and you're tilted back, right? Like you're like, you know, feet in the air and <laughs> it was funny because I was sitting in there last night and I was trying to drink out of my, you know, um, I was taking a drink out of my water bottle and it was like the way I was tilted so far back, I couldn't even sit up properly to take a drink out of my water bottle. So I was like, you're on your own with that. <laughs> Good night. Keep going. But well worth the money um, because a zero gravity chair, like if I'm sitting, like I said, I don't, I'm hoping, it's, it's, it's terrible to say, I'm hoping the my drop foot is just because of some type of pinched nerve or nerve damage. So sitting in that chair, I'm not sitting on my butt. Like the pressure's not just on my butt. When you're sitting in a zero gravity chair, the pressure is on, you know, underneath my legs, my everything, right? You're more, the weight dis is distributed. The weight distribution. You know what I mean, Vern. He got <laughs> the one in the white. 
but I know Jane. That's what's so interesting. I definitely want to make sure that this, this gesso is dry, though. I don't, I don't want those pages to stick. So I always hold the page up so that the moisture, you know, if you if you heat some, lots of times if you dry your pages in your book like this, the moisture is just going on to the page, you know, back on the back side of the page and then into the other pages. So it's good to hold it up. So the moisture is going into the atmosphere, I suppose. How about that for <laughs> super, super techie explanation I just did. All right, I'm going to add a little bit of gesso to this, though. That's not gesso. That's matte medium. Good morning, Pam. How are you, my friend? All right. Where is that scraper gone? some texture so I was productive again this morning answer my YouTube comments got up took a nice bath got dressed worked on my island Ooh, oh my apologies my friends if you can hear my stomach growling you know what that means he gun. Yeah, if I, I go to I have to go to shoppers this week in the post office. And so when I got planning on Thursday, it'll be the first time I've left my backyard in almost two months. Two months, I guess, has it been? Adventure out into the world, protect myself. hate the thought of getting into a cab but it would be a sh <laughs> I could walk but it'll be in a long walk my friend that'd probably take me what do you think 45 minutes to walk over there maybe at least maybe an hour not that I mind walking one day I'll get my license soon soon I just have to dry this gesso. I don't want to, so my pages don't stick. Oh man. So a couple layers of gesso, I think, maybe some ink, and then I'll start stamping. I, I want to uh, get out a bunch of stamps, start stamping. Some of my old favorite stamps. No. You think you think that would have been priority number one, Ali? <laughs> No, we're both Sam and I are both from Scarborough, which uh, are you know from Toronto proper. Well, not Toronto proper because that's like downtown, but we're, we're from Toronto, and uh, you know Toronto is like New York City, right? Your our bus system, our transit system is amazing. So my sister as well. My sister just got her license. I'm super proud of her. In December, I think she had her test, or was it in January? Anyways, super proud of her. She just got it as well, uh, and uh, she's two years younger than I am. So. Um, no, like for Simon and I, always we always took public transit and never, I don't know, I've always wanted to spend my money on other things, I suppose. If I grew up where I live right now, on the outskirts of Toronto, like the public transit system here in Whitby is ridiculous. Like, you know, and I mean, what, what can you do? There's there's no, you see the buses go by and there's like one person on it. So it's not like they can make it better. If they don't have the ridership, they don't have the ridership, right? So um, if I grew up out here, I would have had my license at 16 because it, it would have been, it's needed. But growing up in Toronto, I mean, I walked everywhere. Like, I've always lived in places where in less than 10 minutes, I can walk to everything I want to, right? Everything I need, whether it's grocery store, shoppers, where, you know, work, whatever. That's why, like, in Burlington, I moved. In Burlington, I moved so that I lived across the across the street from the plant, you know? So, uh, 
but I know I'm 40. I'll be 42 in August. So it's, it's time. I need to get my license. I've had three learning permits because I, in Ontario, I've graduated licensing. So I, you know, back when I was 18, I had my first learning permit because I used it as ID so I could rent my apartment and open bank accounts and everything. So with graduated licensing, you have five years um, to get the full license. And I never did. So I've had three different learning permits because I use them as ID. Hikan. And if you remember, and, and I that's when I got, when I kind of fell off here, right? I was doing so well. I, I was becoming a personal trainer. You guys know I lost the weight um, healthily. I was real into fitness and, and eating health, eating properly and all of that type of stuff, like serious eating clean, you know, not like just keto and whatever. Like I was really healthy focused. Uh, not that keto is not healthy. Don't email me. Um, clean keto, the keto proper is super he healthy, but this like, and this is my two cents and I'm not a doctor, but this dirty keto that people are doing is, uh, uh, uh. anyway, I won't, won't go into that. But so if you remember when I, that was happening, I was training my sister and we were at this new gym. And so that that's how many years ago was this now? My friends like three or whatever. And I broke my right foot. I twisted my foot at the gym and I broke it. And during that same time, I was, I just, I had just taken the exam to become a personal trainer and, uh, and and I was like, I had maybe six out of 10 driving lessons, which I'd already paid for, but then I broke my right foot. Well, and that was it. You can't do any, you can't drive. Well, I couldn't drive because, you know, I broke my right foot. <sighs> and so that was uh, that many years ago. And then I went to and like, it really messed with me mentally because I felt like I was on such a roll anyway. And then, uh, I haven't had it since and it expired again. So now I have to go back and take the written test for the fourth time <laughs> pay the money. He done. So I've had lessons. I've drove I've driven before. It's just uh I need to go back and get my learning permit again, start the graduate licensing all over again in Canada or not in, I don't know another I shouldn't say in Canada. In Ontario. Because other provinces obviously have probably have different uh different rules, but you have to have your learning permit for eight months well first well you have to have your learning permit for a year before you can take your first road test unless you take lessons then you can take your your road test within eight months of your learning permit um and then then you, you take in and you get your g2 which means you can drive alone whatever and then within the next four years after having your g2 there's a second road test that you need to do where they take you on the highway and all that fun stuff so um, and you have to do that within five years. Okay. But yeah, I, I need to be driving my mother around, not having her drive me around. That's for sure. Hi, Gail. Have a good day, my friend. Uh-oh. John is talking about... Oh, a snake. <laughs> No, thank you. No, thank you. I never know what the wildlife. I have a funny story. So this happened, I don't know, it's been a few months now, six months ago or whatnot. So I smoke outside. You guys know I smoke. And I and I smoke outside. I don't smoke in the house. And um, so I have a little stool there because I live in a basement. You guys know where my Wi-Fi router is, is nowhere near the, the furthest away from the front door. So if I'm sitting outside, I got my little stool. If I'm watching YouTube or whatever I'm doing on my phone, right? I'm like, we, we need to, we need to, we need to draw this. So if this is my door, right? Here's my stool. Here's my door. It's got a window. So I'm sitting on this stool right against the door. So if I'm on my phone, I have my phone almost touching the door, right? So my back is to my backyard. All right. So I'm just sitting there. My knee, my elbows are on my knees, living my best life. Smoke. <laughs> don't smoke, my friends. I don't promote smoking. Smoke is bad. It kills. So here I am not paying attention. It's completely dark. I'm focused on my screen, on my, on my phone, right? Watching my YouTube. And 
I hear like rustling. So I'm like, oh, it's windy out. I don't pay attention. I just keep on doing whatever. And I watch it, watch it. All of a sudden, my friends, like I said, my knees, I, I'm just sitting there against the door. It's pitch black. And especially when you're focusing on a phone, like it, if it's in the dark, because there's no lights in the backyard. When it's, peach, when it's pitch black and you're focusing on the brightness of your phone, it's even, everything else is even darker, right? So here I am sitting there. All of a sudden, I feel two paws on my leg, on my left leg, just like, like some, something got on its hind legs and put its two paws on my leg. And I, I didn't scream, but let me tell you, my friends, <laughs> I jumped up. I went like this. I, I brushed my arm against whatever the heck it was that was touching me. <laughs> And I jumped in the door and slammed the door. I think I, whatever it was, I scared it more than it scared me. I still don't know to this day. I'm telling myself, oh, because I have big fences in the backyard. I live 10 minute walk from the Lake Ontario, from the Lake or Lake Ontario. And it, there's wildlife down there, my friends. I mean, there's coyotes in the back. Like sometimes you hear coyotes howling. I've seen coyotes. I've walked past coyotes walking to work. Like we have all types of wildlife, right? So but what kind of wildlife? Coyotes couldn't get in my backyard because it's fenced, right? If my dogs can't get out, and I have little dogs. So we have coyotes. But what can climb fences and get in my backyard? Skunks? Uh, I probably would have smelt the skunk, right? I'm assuming. I don't know. Cats? But wouldn't a cat rub my leg first? The only option is, is a raccoon. <laughs> I tried to peek out because, like, my door has a window. I tried to peek out my window. I couldn't see a thing. Couldn't see a thing. It had to have been a raccoon. All I, like, I, I'm telling you, my, all I felt like, so the raccoon, I must have been standing so still or sitting so still that so engrossed in whatever YouTube I was watching that the raccoon was, like, curious, I guess, and just put his two, <laughs> in my head, I'm telling myself, it was just a nice cat, a nice cat. <laughs> no, it was not a nice, I don't know. Even thinking about it now, let me tell you, my friends, I just, and you know, I wear, I wear glasses. I really need new ones badly. I need contacts badly, but especially if I wear glasses, my, my eyes are super bad. I have no peripheral vision, zero peripheral vision, my friend. So I, if you, if you're standing beside me in a certain spot, I can't see you anyways. So I don't know what came up. I'm, oh my, just thinking about it now. Oh, give it shaking. <laughs> shaking. Oh, yeah, that was good time. Let me tell you. Whew. <laughs> Hadn't have been a raccoon. I can't think of anything else. I can tell myself it was a cat, but probably wasn't a cat <laughs> because a cat, a cat probably would have tried to rub my legs or something first, you know. But man, it was it scared. No, it was definitely not a squirrel because I can feel the paw, like the paws. So on my leg, if this is my leg, like you know, like if if Asha or Bella get on their hind legs to to kind of, if I'm sitting down and Asha and Bella want up or whatever, you know, they'll get on their hind legs and put their paws on my leg, like. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what it was. I, like I said, I you you have not seen me move so fast <laughs> and slam the door. The dogs come running. They're like, what is wrong with you? And I, oh, I couldn't keep my, oh, sweet goodness. Still don't know what it was. I'm assuming it had to have been a raccoon. Just by the distance and the, the pressure of the paws, like, you know, like it wasn't a big dog. It was the weight of it. You know what I mean? Like it wasn't a, God forbid, a coyote. <laughs> so there's there's a uh, wildlife in the back in the backyard oh my gosh i don't see very many raccoons around here i know they're around but i don't see see that that stencil didn't do too much there um but i don't see them very often actually that page needs some just sort of cover up that writing Simon thought it was the absolute funniest thing in the world, but uh, what am I doing? That's more gesso than, than I need for three pages. Oh, man, just think about it. Traumatizing, my friends, traumatizing. you think that would make me want to stop smoking. Don't smoke, my friends. That, it kills. But it's one, I'm not ready. I'm not, you know... In my head, like, ah, it's hard to say. I'm not ready to quit smoking yet. You have to, I, I have to be mentally ready.
You were betting it, Anita? You had the same thing. It happened to me on your patio. I thought I, I was on my phone. I thought it was my cat. So you reached down and was petting it, but not looking. And then I see my cat out in front of me. <laughs> yeah. It's like that uh, adventure. Who uh, Adventures in Babysitting. Who remembers that movie from the 80s? Doesn't she? Like, remember when she loses her glasses? And then, uh, is it a skunk she picks up? I forget. Every month. I haven't watched that in a long time. All right, we've got some den dendritic texture going. I was watching, how embarrassing, my friends. I was thinking about this, because you guys know I'm a self-taught artist, right? So nine years ago this month, I taped my DVD in uh, in Colorado. And I was watching Interweave still, even though they went out of business and, uh, you know, they declared bankruptcy and blah, blah, blah. Anyways, it, they still have my the, pre the preview of my DVD on the Interweave channel here on YouTube. So I was watching it. And I was doing this gesso technique with ink tents, right? And I called it gesso texture. I had no idea. Here I, you know, as a um, self-taught artist, right, I didn't take any art past grade eight. So I don't know what the technical terms for half of these things are. So yes, if I call it a basic gesso texture or technique, and, and really it's called dendritic, because nine years ago, I had no idea what dendritic was. Am I saying that right again? Dendritic. Anyway, dendri dendritic. Dendritic. So uh, anyways, go easy on us, my friends. If we're self-taught artists, I'm not doing it on purpose. I'm not uh, creating something and be like, oh, I made this up and I'm not calling dendritic. I'm calling it something. Else. It's just because I had no idea. <laughs> no idea. No idea. Look at, and so that DVD, look at back nine years later, and I'm like, <sighs> embarrassing that I didn't know the actual technical term, but you know, when you're self-taught artist, you discover these things. Keep going. And, I, and, you know, that's why I'm studying. Uh, I choose to study. Uh, I got Kadinsky book coming. I'm going to start really studying the work of Kadinsky and, and Linda Berry. He gun. <laughs> oh, Danita didn't know she could jump that high. <laughs> yeah, Julie. Great. Awesome, Linda. Yeah. I, you guys remember, like when I when I was losing weight the first time, when I was getting healthy, there was a point that I just one day I thought to myself, what am I doing? I'm eating completely clean. I'm eating like, I don't know if I was eating vegan at that time, not saying that that's whatever. Like I, I, I mixed up my diet all the time. So one couple of weeks I'd be, uh, you know, I ate vegan and then another couple of weeks I would eat clean. Another couple of weeks I would do paleo. Anyway, I, I mixed up my diet to keep my body guessing. So uh, this is just my sketchbook over here, which obviously you can see I have not been doing much in. Um, yeah, so one there was uh, like one day, it just kind of dawned on me. I'm like, I'm eating healthy. I'm ex like spending hours at the gym, like really researching, you know, about health and fitness. Be and this was, I was still in Burlington, so I, I hadn't taken uh, the personal trainer course yet or anything. Um, and that's something else I, I need to re, I'm still passionate about fitness and, and everything. I mean, I, I need to re, uh, certify for that anyways. Um, yeah. And I just said to myself, this is ridiculous. Like, what, this doesn't make sense to me. Why am I eating healthy and I'm doing all this and here I am puffing on a smoke like that. And, and I'm not a big time smoker. I shouldn't, I uh, smoke maybe, maybe a pack every two days, three days. Um, Cause you know what my smoker choice was. So I, um, but for me, it's not even the nicotine. It's the ritual. So yeah, maybe I should go to, you know, to vaping. Jane tried to get me into vaping a couple of years ago and then, uh, but it's the ritual, right? It's not even the nicotine. It, it's like, okay, after I eat, you know, some people, as soon as they drive, they have to light up a smoke. As soon as they get behind the car, something similar, right? It's more about the the habit of it rather than the nicotine. Ooh, look at what happened there. Oh, that's cool. I love when that, when you have a marker down, like super tips or whatever, you add some gesso and we got a little, a little fun transfer amongst the dendri dendritic texture. <laughs> Can't ever pronounce that. Let me see. 
my camera's out of focus. Let me see. I think at my stuff of my Amazon stuff. No, I'm just seeing if my Amazon stuff is outside. Nope, out oh, for delivery still. All right, I just wanted to use up a little that little bit of just so. Go back in here. He can. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Linda. Sometimes I that's unfortunately what has to happen, right? It's bad. Someday soon, I've got you know, I can't tackle everything at once, so. They, when I was in the hospital in, in November, then, what was that noise? I heard something funny. Anyways, when I was in the hospital, they were like, your blood oxygen levels 100%. They're like, are you sure you're a smoker? I'm like, yes, unfortunately. Like I said, please don't smoke. Very bad for you. I'm not promoting smoking. So for for me though, and like stopping smoking, well, I'll have to change my rituals, right? Good morning, Galina. Or good afternoon. No, vaping can't be healthy either. So that's that's definitely could. I mean, any nicotine into your body is not good. All right. I started writing this. It's talking about my birthday. I'll be 37. So I wrote that four years ago. That's how long I've had this bad boy. <laughs> this year, I'll be 41. Oh, no, wait. 42. Almost four years ago, I started this book. Oh, boy. I'm just going to put a piece of saran wrap on, on there. Do, 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 do. Anybody else doing any art this morning? Oh, that's wonderful, Ellie. It's hard. So I quit smoking for a long time. And then, then when they announced the plant shut down, then I, I don't know. I guess it stressed me out. I picked up a smoke again, and then it's been... All right. I just don't, I, it's not, I guess it's somewhat mostly dry, but I don't want it to stick just in case. You can. Yeah, this definitely is going to have to sit on top of the heater for a while. Or like I need just, a, oh yeah, that's the page. Or not. Is this the page that? Am I salvageable? No. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Then is prepping some canvas. Sure. Bye, Jonah. Take care, my friend. Have a wonderful day. It's almost noon. So I'm definitely going to be back today when I get my Amazon stuff. I will be back. So make sure your bell, you've rung my bell. Or follow me over on Twitter. Hey, Jamie. Welcome. Looking and working. I love, we love our lurkers around here. Ooh, look at, I love what's going on over here. Look at this. Yum ho. Yum ho. All right. The last thing I'm going to. Oh, this book is so more. This book is damp. 
But when I get my Amazon order, I'll be back sometime this afternoon, probably. I'm going to um, go eat some lunch. Put my, the wonderful Simon, put my paint cart together. One of them. So I'm going to move that in here and put my Liquitex Basics and, excuse me, and hiccups. The Liquitex Basics and, uh, anyway, the stuff, the stuff I have in bags on the floor waiting to go into that cart. I'm going to do that. And uh, add more layers in here. I'm going to let it dry first before I add more layers. I like how, you know, so the soup ink added a little something. It, it made some of the pages more muddy. But uh, like I said, there's lots, lots of more layers in water and sprays and good stuff coming to this. Before I even attempt to add anything else. I'm loving how it's looking. I'm enjoying the process of just putting stuff down i'm not even like just playing with inks and not not thinking about it i mean i'm really enjoying the doing aspect of everything all right i need to put the well instead of saran wrap i'll just put a little piece of this in there masking paper actually before i do that the last thing i'm gonna do I have, I keep using that gold spray, but I'm going to use the pewter. Thanks, Jane. Ah, oh, Patricia. You're welcome. Yes, I'm, I'm going to show the little, the little haul I have from uh, Amazon later. So this is the pewter. So I'm just going to take my book like this. Randomly. Spray some stuff. I'm just enjoying using the stuff without abandon, just with or with with wild abandon. Sweet loving goodness, I need to get get a hold of my grammar. But the fun thing about this spray, and you know what I bought Amazon, my friends, what I found out last night. Um, Amazon Canada, anyways, is selling the uh, is selling. Oh, my stomach. Um, what you call it? Mm. Lindy Stamp Gang. So Lindy Stamp Gang, and, and it was cheap, twenty five Canadian. I bought the. Uh, let me look. I'll find out right now. Something I don't have. For, well, I mean, I have a lot of Lindy Stamp Gang stuff from uh, years ago. Oh, wait, did I order it and it's temporarily out of stock? Oh, you razor frazzin. Oh, I'm going to have to cancel it. I'm not going to. Oh, they were glitz spritz. No, I'm going to have to. Somebody must have been ordering it at the same time I did. But I ordered the glitz spritz with just the uh, metallic colors. Like pewter, gold, silver, whatever. But it's telling me temporarily out, out of stock. We're working hard to be back in stock. Place your order. Email me. Yeah, no. That means it's not going to come for months. Oh, I've got to cancel that. Anyway, well, I thought I bought it. Maybe I didn't. Never mind. I guess maybe I'll have to use Timmy's. But I'm enjoying using those type of gold sprays. Gold and pewter. All right. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here. I shall see you later. Gesso can definitely use this glue. If you put gesso down um, and stick your pages together, like close your book, put gesso down, close your book, it'll be glued shut. That's for sure. Thank you so much for being here, my friends. I got to go eat something. My stomach oh, I'm starting to feel sick, which is not good. Thank you again so much for being here. I'll see you soon.